Hello everybody, my name is Jamal Plays and welcome to this Pokemon um, series that I'm going to be doing uh, called Surprisingly Viable. Now this is going to be a series where I talk about competitive Pokemon movesets that perhaps are not often used and are, as the name suggests, surprisingly viable. These might be quite lengthy, but I'm sure that listening will be definitely worth it. The first one of these is going to be a um, sort of in-depth video on looking at three different sets for a fantastic BL Pokemon, Togekiss. Now this guy is a fairy flying type um, as of generation 6 with base stats of 85, 90, uh, 95, 120, 115 and 80, obviously ignoring the 50 attack because that is irrelevant throughout the sets that we are going to be looking at today. Um, we've got this guy has the ability of Serene Grace and it utilizes it throughout all three of these sets. Um, absolutely fantastic. Um, this is honestly a really good Pokemon. Um, so, I mean, the base 120 special attack and 115 special defense means that it can be used very well offensively and defensively. Now, looking through the Smogon sets, um, these tend to be mostly defensive sets, uh, which kind of surprised me, you know. Um, well, it surprised me that the set that I normally use isn't on there and that's the first set we're going to be going through today we're going to be looking at the offensive speed control set and that is the set that's in front of you guys right now so we've got our togekiss here this guy is holding the leftovers has the ability serene grace uh, and the moves thunder wave air slash dazzling gleam and fire blast and 156 evs in hp 252 special attack and a modest nature and 100 evs in the speed now this pokemon is absolutely incredible. This set basically aims to make good use of Togekiss's special attack while also slowing down enemies potentially for other support Pokemon or set up sweepers to operate without taking too much damage. Thunder Wave is incredibly important. This is for making sure that Togekiss is faster than its threats. Um, it's very important for him to be fast so that he can, so that his foes just can't hit it because we've got Air Slash here. This um, has a 30% chance to flinch the target. Serene Grace has the Pokemon moves have their secondary effect chance doubled. So that goes from, that air slash goes from 30% to 60%. On top of Paralysis, this makes it a very, very annoying Pokemon. And I'm sure you guys have either seen this or used it yourself. Um, the trouble is the, uh, the other two moves. We've got Dazzling Gleam and Fire Blast here and, and an EV spread that's almost unheard of. Now, Dazzling Gleam is obvious stab, and it's just really, really, really helpful um, for taking down dragon types, um, etc. Fighting types, um, although Air Slash really for fighting types, but um, dark types, things like that, just, you know, Dazzling Gleam is there as a staple because it's just, a, it's a base power, base power of 80, 100% accuracy, stab, it's a very solid move to use. And finally, we've got Fire Blast. Now, you might be thinking, oh, Fire Blast, that's, that's pretty interesting. And it really, really is. Now, this thing is, um, obviously, Flamethrower is an option. You can choose Flamethrower over Fire Blast, but for this set, I prefer Fire Blast. Now, basically, this can one-hit KO um, a 252 HP, 168 Special Defense Ferrothorn. It can also one-hit KO a 252 HP, zero Special Defense Bishop which are two threats which would be very, very likely to switch in against it. And if, if the Bisharp, for example, is paralyzed, Sucker Punch will not be able to kill it. Um, it is well resisted. Um, an unboosted Sucker Punch, at least, will not be able to kill this Togekiss, and it will probably outspeed. I would have to double check that. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, this is, this is some serious, serious, serious stuff. Now that we've got, um, looking at the uh, set details now, we've got Leftovers here. Now Leftovers, um, basically, uh, whilst Togekiss is thunder waving and air slashing, it's going to be able to um, actually gain a little bit of health every sort of turn um, as it's hitting these things with the air slashes and causing power flinch. Um, it's going to be able to actually heal up a surprising amount of health uh, as time goes on, as you slowly work down Pokemon, you'll be able to f see the way I normally use it is I work its health down with Air Slash if it's uh, perhaps resisted or perhaps neutral, whereas Dazzling Gleam could be super effective. I wear down its health a bit with Air Slash so I can get a little bit of health back with the leftovers, and then I hit it with the Dazzling Gleam to finish it off, um, and we move on to the next Pokemon. I do the same thing, and we keep going until Togekiss has 6 0 swept the whole team. That 
doesn't really happen, but <laughs> yeah, um, I kind of took that a bit too far, but we've got, um, yeah, so we've got the leftovers there for that reason. We've got the 156 HP and 100 speed. 156 HP is just to make sure that it can still take a hit. It's quite bulky, you know, it can still take a special hit very, very well. It takes a focus blast absolutely deliciously. Um, uh, and even without any special defense investment. And 100 speed is just to make sure that it's that a little bit faster, even if the Thunder Wave is perhaps not there. Um, so yeah, that's the first Togekiss set. Um, I absolutely adore this Pokemon, I absolutely do, um, using this guy. Um, the second set we're gonna look at, well the second and third set we're gonna look at, um, actually, I've not actually used myself in a battle. This one I have and can prove that it works, um, but the other two I actually haven't. So if you decide to use these guys, uh, these next two sets, um, then just bear in mind that I actually haven't used these, and so they might need a bit of they might need a bit of tweaking and sort of sorting out. So um, the second one we're going to look at here is uh, actual screen, actually a screen support Toki Kiss. Now this is I think is quite an interesting set to be honest. We've got um. We've got the uh, Togekiss holding the Light Clay, the ability Serene Grace, of course, and the moves Light Screen, Reflect, Thunder Wave, and Air Slash. Uh, we've got the HP, uh, 148 HP of these, uh, 100 Defense, 8 Special Attack, 252 Special Defense, and a Calm Nature, just to boost that Special Defense even more, obviously lowering the attack. Um, also, bearing in mind, we've got the Zero um, Attack, just to make sure that um, Foul Play uh, the, the sort of effectiveness of foul play is absolutely minimized because um, that that can happen that can happen we, we can run into foul play for some reason it's worth it just to put it there because you know you, you don't really need the attack EVs at all so um, even that's important um, so yeah, we've got um, the light screen reflect thunder wave air slash. So we've got a light screen and reflect. Now this is um, the double glazing that we have here. We've it works quite well in conjunction with the uh, sort of defense and special defense EVs. Light screen with full special defense at a base 115 is going to make sure that this Togekiss is going to actually take a number of hits. And also it will work very well for support into other uh, different Pokemon such as perhaps Mega Metagross and uh, Salamence and things like that. Some lovely things like Dragonite even uh, will really, really benefit from uh, screen support. Um, I don't know about maybe Dragonite because that obviously gives you two flying types. I'm just looking at um, sort of relating it into team building. But um, Metagross definitely would benefit from a light screen reflect screen support type thing. Uh, also, we've got the Thunder Wave and Air Slash just to have that um, offensiveness if we need to. And if we don't want that, we can just Thunder Wave and switch out. It's still great support. Um, for Togekiss, so even then it can attack. It's not going to be as powerful, of course, because uh, we've not got as much special attack, but it should still be quite good. I, I mean, I like I say, I've not used this before, so I don't know if it actually is good, but if any of you guys are willing to um, use this in one of your teams and let me know what you think um, of this guy, and also the next one, which we're going to look at right now, this final one is... Well, it might surprise you a bit, considering if you've looked at the Smogon, um, if you've looked at the Smogon sets for Togekiss, then this will definitely, definitely surprise you because it's nothing like any of them. This final one is a Choice Scarf. Yeah, I said that. Choice Scarf Togekiss. Now, this is quite an interesting option. I, I just kind of thought about it. You know, it's got base 80 speed, which makes it quite a good sort of um, target for using. For a choice scarf user, you know, we see things like Chandelure with base 80 speed using um, a choice scarf, making a fantastic use of the thing. And um, we've got, all right, look, well, let's just go through. We've got Togekiss holding the choice scarf, obviously, the ability to serene grace, air slash, dazzling gleam, flamethrower, and aura sphere. And a special scarf, um, suggest the smoke on EVs. Uh, with 100, uh, well, 252 special attack, sorry, and 252 uh, speed, hunt, uh, four special defense, and the timid nature to make sure that this thing is as fast as possible. Now, basically, this is kind of making it so you don't really need the Thunder Wave as much. Because if you've got 284 speed and you're 
choice scarf on top of that, you're going to be pretty damn fast. And actually, I'll give you a direct number. You have 426 speed. You know what that means? You get outsped by one point by Mega Beedrill. Okay? One point. That is... It is kind of a bit annoying, but obviously there's nothing really that Sogekiss like can do about that. Um, the, the fact that we get outsped just... Ah, uh, it annoyed me. It annoyed me because Mega Beedrill has a max speed of 427. So, yeah, that's a bit of a, that's a bit of a problem. But to be honest, it's really not hugely bad because, I mean, we look at this, we've got Air Slash, Dazzle, and Gleam, Flamethrower, and Aurasphere. I actually decided to go for Flamethrower over Fire Blast because I would personally rather be locked into um, Flamethrower just because it's more accurate, just because we could probably get more of them potentially. Um, the Fire Blast is sort of there for the coverage, but the Flamethrower will still be able to put in the work. Um, likewise, we've got Aura Sphere in case we get into a bit of a sticky situation against Heatran. Now, we know Heatran is absolutely dominating OU at the moment. I think in the April um, tier update, the April usage based tier update, it's actually second most used in OU, if I remember that correctly. I might be wrong there. It's the second most used, which is absolutely incredible. Only behind Landorus T. Um, so, you know, that's a huge Pokemon that gets used a lot, lot of the time. So Aurasphere is a very, very good uh, move for hitting that guy. So yeah, I mean, that's the three... Um, I mean, the, the EVs sort of on this guy sort of explain themselves. We've got the 252 um, special attacks to so make sure you're hitting as hard as possible. 252 plus... Um, speed and the four special defense just to because it's got good base special defense above all really so that it can kind of take a hit pretty well so yeah i mean that's basically it we've got um we've got our speed control offense um we've got our screen support and we've got our choice scarf toki kiss so anyway guys i would like to thank you very much for watching this video and as always if you did enjoy them please be sure to go and leave a like down below and um I mean, let me know what you think of these guys. Um, this is quite an interesting Pokemon, and as you can see, Togekiss is definitely surprisingly viable. Thank you again for watching this video, guys. And also, before I go, if you have any more sets that you would like to suggest for me, then please, please, please be sure to leave them in the comments or tweet me them or anything. Post them on my Facebook page. Absolutely anything you want. Links to those... Um, websites and whatever will be also in the description so be sure to check those out as well thank you again for watching this video guys i've been jamal plays you've been fantastic and i'll see you guys next time goodbye